Hello and welcome to this video playing M.M. Weber from Germany. So what do you have in store? Not knight c6? Okay. <laughs> Bishop d6, okay. That's very rare because d4 is kind of normal here. So, what's the deal with this? Yeah, I can just take for a simple solution. Um, I wonder, maybe bishop g5 and then take, but you know, I'm taking, I'm spending too much time here on, on a, on a situation where white will be better no matter what I play. I should just play it and quicker. <laughs> okay, so, um, certainly more than one thing here, we just queen c2. I have this additional pawn in the center, which is nice. So rook d1, it's not doing all that much. I can also fear kettle. Maybe do that. Not sure. All Check. those moves I want to play, and he gives it to me with big tempi. E4, F4 is part of white strategy here. Okay, so just I just have to be aware of of tactical tactical stuff. Anyway, E5 is kind of normal. Unfortunately, I cannot play around this bishop that well. I think I have to really... Ah, okay, maybe bishop a3 actually. Bishop a3, knight e4. That could be even better than just playing knight e4 straight away. Okay, here yeah, I'm <laughs> still going with this. You always see going bishop f5 or something like that. Okay, so he went with this. So I have to take and then a queen move to unpin. Maybe here and then knight d6. It takes quite a bit Knight d6, f5, e8, and so on. Hmm. Don't see a good move from him. Knight d6 should win material. Yeah, I really don't see a move. Yeah, so I expected that. It's probably a relatively, relatively best choice. Knight on d5 still um, provides some, some counterplay hopes. Okay, knight uh, here somewhere. Centralize. To make sure that I'm not stumbling into some tactical trick here. We know the knights. <laughs> knights are dangerous. Rook d4 maybe. Queen g2 now would blunder stuff.
Okay, Queen to E4. Some breakthrough with E6 would be good. <clears throat> So before him, a4, b5 is, is would be nice to get, but um, the moment I don't see how actually. So he's coming with h4 here. My position is somewhat loose. It's, it's just what it is. It's not uh, totally easy. Queen g4, I go f5, that's my idea. f5 now, maybe. Let's do it. I need to get something going here. If he takes rook h4, yeah? pawn takes rook h4, wins the queen, so he has to take with the queen, and then I'll take play rook h4 and win the pawn. It's not yet winning at least in terms of blitz chess where all kinds of stupid stuff can happen oh, that's funny That's a self pin though. Not even sure if that's a technically good move to be honest. King G6. It can take over f6, that's a winning king and pawn ending, but it's no need to. Black resigns. Okay, so bishop d6 is a bit of a strange move. d4 should be okay. I just spent too much time, like 30 seconds for that move. I mean, white is going to be better here anyway, so I should just play it quicker. White is better because of the extra center pawn. And what he did is actually helped me a lot by giving me all those moves that I want to play Check. anyway. I think white is in good, sh good shape here. This one. Yeah, no, that's, that's good for white. This is what the engine is giving. Yeah, obviously quite nice, but uh, something like this. Oh yeah, knight c8, okay. And white is still better with this. There's two things attacked. 
Yeah, he played this, and now it uh, should, yeah, that wins the exchange. He could have played this and sacrifice on d6, but he will lose the exchange here no matter what. I mean, he has no good square. This is just a, an enormous fork. Check. And here it's still a little bit, a little bit annoying there with the knight. Oh, I could have taken a seven. I should have done that. Not so much for the pawn, but if I can take b7 as well, then his whole position falls apart. Yeah, that probably was the right move. Yeah, here I was shuffling a little bit, trying around. But this, I think, is a good solution. If he takes with the pawn, he blunders the queen. And after the queen trade, this ending should be should be winning. Yeah, King G6 is a little bit tougher here, I think. Like H3, Rook D8. This is what the engine is giving, not sure, Rook E4, what's the thing? A wants to go to F4. I mean, white should win, but it's still in blitz. Yeah, okay, H3 was basically trapping the knight. Check. Okay, if you see one win, it's enough. Yeah, here the capture should win, of course. But there's no real need. He, he cannot move anything here. So um, there was no urgency to do this. Okay, give me the knight. Okay, well, guys, thanks for watching.